Side. Not a whole lot going on because I'm off work. Not laid off, but off work this week, so I'm going to try to go fishing tomorrow. But a few weeks ago, um, a couple videos ago, I was in two, three feet of water, fishing real shallow, getting a crazy bite, and broke my prop. So I'm going to show you guys how to replace a prop, and uh, let's do it. So I was able to get this prop off of Amazon used for about $68. So let's see what kind of condition it is. It said excellent condition, so. Hub kit. Instructions. and there's a prop and I would say that that's in better than good condition I would say that's brand new so I'm pretty stoked on that saved myself half price and it's already got the hub in it so make sure it's got the back piece So a few of the tools needed are a flathead screwdriver, simple pair of pliers, and then I'm using a torque wrench with a 15 16 socket on it, which fits the prop nut. So let's take this thing apart. So mine's a little bit of a challenge because I have a trolling plate, but what you essentially want to do this guy wedge this guy in there and then when the prop spins it wedges up against the top and allows you to loosen the nut start by bending these tabs down go ahead and grab our 15 16 on the torque wrench going to wedge the prop with a little good wedge on there. And I'm loosening the nut. Get the nut off. Now we're going to just pull this straight off. Luckily there's a little right here on top, so I'll just go ahead and... I forgot to mention that there is, I think they call these thrust washers, so this one is the inner one closest to the motor on the shaft. See the round kind of, I guess, beveled back with a flat right here. This goes up against the prop on the back side. And then you have this one, which is on the outside. Another car. Jeez, there's a lot of traffic today. So this one's on the outside, farthest from the motor, where you're going to put the lock, locking washer and tab and all that on there. So, And this has a flat back, which goes against, so it's kind of like this on the prop, which sandwiches it together and then, you know, keeps the hub kit in place so that it kind of can float in there. So that if you do hit a big obstacle that it doesn't actually break your entire shaft, it just breaks the hub kit 
and saves your motor. So saves you a, a very, very expensive or if you're inclined, a very timely mechanical repair. All right, let's put it back together. Get the new prop on there. Should slide on. So I must mention that this it was a used prop, so it already had a hub kit in it. And obviously it was just a show prop or something. Car going by. It was just a show prop or something, because it's just dusty. Obviously there's no, well now there's a chip. There's no chips in it otherwise. There's Quicksilver name brand. But the hub kit's already installed and it looks like there's no wear whatsoever on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and line it up. Make sure it's all correct. Obviously you can only put these on one way because there's a tapered end over here that fits down into the uh, groove. So you can see there's a lot of grease on there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put this on until it's lined up. And it's actually splined as well. So that's basically on there. So the kit comes with a new nut. It also comes with a new locking washer, I guess you'd call it, with the tabs. So the tab washer goes on first, and then your nut goes on second. So now we need to get that trusty board. So I'm just going to get this tightened down to where it's snug, which is right there. And then we're going to set this guy to 55. Oh, I had the thing torqued up. Let's get this thing torqued down here. Got the board stuck in there. We're going to just give it a Okay, so we got the nut torqued, so let's go ahead and bend those tabs up. So essentially, that's it. Right there. Tabs are bent. Everything's in place the way it should be. That wasn't too boring, and hopefully, I educated you guys a little bit. But then again, there's the broken pop, so that's no bueno. Vibrated like crazy. I've actually never seen one break quite like that. So, I've seen chips, nicks, things like that, but that was a solid break. So, we're gonna call it good. Props on, it's looking beautiful. So, Hope you all have a wonderful day, stay safe out there, and go fishing. Mm -hmm.